three things that came out of the conference towards evolving security best practices. One of them is the growing compliance requirements. And we're seeing this, whether it's a company that's doing business with the federal government or doing business with healthcare or doing business with particular states, or even just trying to get cybersecurity insurance. There are evolving compliance requirements such that businesses are being held to higher and higher standards to be good stewards of their cybersecurity, have strong cybersecurity in place, and be ready to respond if they had a cybersecurity event to minimize the risk to whomever else they're doing business with. The concept of software bill of materials is an important thing towards also defending against what are known as supply chain attacks or supply side attacks for software vendors. Uh, there have been several documented cases recently where threat actors have gone after a particular company or a group of companies or an industry by identifying the line of business applications or even the productivity applications that they use. And rather than attack the business directly, and rather than attack that application directly, they'll look at the application and say, oh, the software vendor wrote that application using software from five other vendors. And then they'll look at those five vendors and say, wait, we can attack that vendor who appears to be fairly weak, and we can inject our code into that vendor that vendor's code gets incorporated into the application. That application gets sold to the business. The business installs it. And now we've got a way in to these downstream businesses that don't even realize that they're running the software from the vendor that we attacked. That's a common path for threat actors on a very targeted, large-scale endeavor, and it's very difficult to defend against. That's what Software Bill of Materials is trying to bring to light. So there's visibility across all of the libraries and all of the software that you're running to match up against what evolving threats look like. Another key concept that came out of the conference was the idea of shifting up in maturity as each business selects the tools that it uses for security. And we have to take a layered approach because there's no one thing that solves everything. Originally, the conversation was about finding the best tool for the job, but there might be five, 10, 20 tools required in a layered security approach. Today, the conversation is really about finding the right suites of tools that work together, that can give you a single pane of glass or a single policy management tool set to handle as many aspects of your security in one place in a consistent, cohesive way as possible. So we're seeing vendors moving away from, let me build one more tool that's going to go live by itself that has to be managed separately to let's build tools that can then talk to other tools that are in a similar family or designed for interoperability. And the result is you end up with higher security overall.